Hey everyone, so today it is another day, quickly Halloween decor hunting today, I think. I have to run to the post office really quick and I have to run to the bank really quick and then on my way home, I figured I would swing by Bath and Body Works and Michaels really quickly because I'm looking for a plug-in and I'm looking for a pedestal at the moment that I have yet to find. I did go last week to Bath and Body Works, I'm not gonna lie, and I only recorded the part where I was in the store. I didn't actually record myself going there because that's the only place I went that day. It, it, it was not much more than we, we saw last video, which I'll put that video up here. I'll put a card up here for you if you didn't catch the last video. So I'm gonna include all of that when I'm showing the footage of Bath and Body Works today. If you've been around here for a little while, then you know that every year I collect the Bath and Body Works haunted house plugin. Well, I haven't found it anywhere in any of the Bath and Body Works. It looks really cool. I've seen pictures of it, but I've yet to find it. It's like a little spooky house with a cauldron in the door area. And then it has this projection. It like projects a witch flying on a broom. It projects it onto your wall. And so I am on the hunt for this plugin. Then I'm gonna run into Michael's since it's right next door. I haven't really heard a lot about Michael's being fully stocked with Halloween yet. I did hear from people who work at Michael's and Joann's that it looks like it's gonna be mid-August when that happens. So you know I'll be stocking until then. But either way, I'm still gonna do some online decor hunting which we did a little bit last time. And I don't know if you guys like that as well. Like I wanna kinda incorporate a little bit of everything because this year is really different in that due to COVID, a lot of people are not going out Halloween decor hunting. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Anyways, what, what else are we doing today? Oh, also I wanted to mention, if you notice, that I'm wearing a jacket today. <laughs> okay, I'm wearing a jacket today because I opened my garage door and I felt this cool breeze. And I was like, is my door still open? Like, is the air conditioner wafting out or something? No, it is 69 degrees out right now. And I am so excited because every year, if you've watched Halloween decor hunting before, I'm like, oh, it's so hot. Uh. Like, no, this year it's, is that fresh corn? <gasps> okay, let me just tell you, in the Midwest, people sell fresh corn on the side of streets where people just like pitch up a little like back of their truck, sell corn. You can buy fresh corn from farmers on like the side of the road and it is the best corn you'll ever have in your entire life. It is this like sweet corn. Oh, it's so good. There is nothing like corn in the Midwest, like nothing like it. Just corn on the cob, butter, salt and pepper. People like to spice it up, throw it on the grill, throw a bunch of stuff on it, but I'm just a classic butter, salt and pepper type of girl. Anyway, I had to say that because there's a corn stand right there. My mouth is actually watering talking about it. Anyways, it's cooler out and I'm feeling like it's fall, even though, okay, 70 degrees, is warmer like not a lot of people wear jackets when it's 70 but when it's been 105 degrees 70 degrees feels like it's cool like cooler weather it's overcast today it's been rainy i am so excited anyways i'll see you guys at bath and body works because i feel like i've been talking forever and some of you out there hate the chitty chat part i'm gonna cut straight to the halloween decorations and i get it i totally get it so i'll see you guys at bath and body works all right we're here we're going in. I'm gonna move my mask up a little bit. Ugh, ugh. Oh, what the hell? What the hell is that? Oh, God. Hi, Hi welcome in. Yeah, oh, I love your nails. Thank Hi, 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 did it we're back okay so let's have a little chit chat about what's 
what's happening. All right, so I just left Bath and Body Works and then I ran in next door to Michael's. I'm gonna combine clips because I was here last week briefly. And let me just tell you a lot of stuff just this year in general with Halloween, things are selling out quick. If you missed the last Halloween decor hunting, we saw these black pedestals. Like there are these really gothic looking pedestals for candles. Today, they had none, not one black candelabra pedestal. Last week, they also had these little things. They look like this. I'll show you a video of them. They're little uh, holders for their sanitizers. And this one is a little witch and she has a little glowing crystal ball that she holds. Okay, so they had two of those left. They had an entire tub of those last week when I was there. And then they also had these little pumpkin ones that played these little spooky noises when you press the button. Um, and I went back there today because I was actually going to grab one of those um, and they didn't have any, like zero. So I'm going to hope that they put those online and I can snag one online. Uh, then they had almost all the plugins, by the way, they did have the plug-in I was looking for, the, the house, which this year, the haunted house, it's $32, by the way, which I know people think is insane, but it, they are so cool. Uh, last year, I wasn't super crazy about their haunted house, but this year, it blew everything away, but they only had one left, one. So I snagged it, of course, and I'm gonna show you guys this one when I get home, because normally I wait, I make y'all wait, until my Halloween decor haul to show you everything that I got. But this one looks just so different once you get it plugged in because it has the projector thing. What else did I see? Uh, they have some really cool single flame candles this year. The packaging itself is just really cool. It looks like a fairy tale cover. Very kind of eerie, but magical and mystical all at the same time. Oh, oh my gosh, this was a new thing that I saw. I didn't get it because I don't really use my lids for my candles like ever. They had this magic ball and you turn it on, it lights up and it has little swirls and it has a magnet on the bottom. So you can put it on top of the cover or the lid to the candle and it just sticks right on there, it sucks right on there. Um, also saw some new candle covers that were really cute. One of them, uh, there was a candle cover and a matching soap dispenser sleeve and it had pumpkins and this like silver kind of looking like vine looking swirly looking design but then it had a little haunted house in there and maybe even a witch was there a witch or a cat or something and little pumpkins it was really cute also they had a real another really cute sleeve for a three wick candle but i already got my pedestals for the year so hi how are you doing today good how are you yeah, what can I get started for you? Um, can I get a grande nitro cold brew, please? And then a grande cold brew with the cinnamon almond milk foam. Okay. Please. Anyway, so I saw the pedestal. There was only one pedestal. And the pedestal has this, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, it has, it's just like a candle pedestal and then it has this globe in the middle of it, and it has a black spiderweb print around it, and then on the inside, it has these, it's got this swirl, like this whirly stuff, and then within that, they have these, like, I don't know if they're like little confetti, I don't know if they're confetti, but they kind of look like confetti bats that swirl around with the cloudiness and you don't have to shake it or anything it's motorized so it just already does the swirly thing for you the whole magical part of it is the actual globe part oh i like got cut off halfway into the sleeve thing i was talking about okay there's also another candle sleeve that is orange it's like a metallic orange and it has bats all around it but it looks like lace so it's like it looks like a lace detail but has bats all over it you'll see when I show it, there's no other way to describe it. It's really cool. Nothing new with the candles as far as like what we saw last time. Um, but I'm waiting for those candles to go on sale so I can snag a bunch of them because I really love the Halloween candles this year. Okay, so that's Bath and Body Works. So I ran into Michael's really quick and Michael's had, once again, their wreath section was out, which we went through last video. So I didn't go back through the wreath section 
they did have all of their, what do they call it? The spooky town? I don't think it's called spooky town. We're back. Sorry, I had to grab my, let me actually put some sanitizer on really quick. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, that's maybe way too much. Ah, don't be behind me. Oh, we're sanitizing my steering wheel too. <laughs> oh my God, this coffee is going to be so delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we go. Where was I? Where was I? Oh, talking about Spooky Town. So I got a whole view of the Spooky Town. All the different buildings. Some of them were more complex than others and more spooky than others. So they had, you know, just like your basic Spooky Town looking buildings, like the little pubs and the little, I don't even know what else they were. There were so many of them. But they had, the ones that really stood out to me, the weird clown factory. I don't know if that's what it was. But to me, it just looked like a clown factory. And it had all these creepy ass clowns on there. Oh, they had this little graveyard scene where it was like a zombie dance party or conga line uh, in a graveyard. And they were like going in the mausoleum. Then they had this one and I couldn't get a super close look at it because it was kind of up and away from everything. But I tried to get enough of it. This building and it had these pumpkins on top that popped up. Like they had a lid that popped up. And then, I, I don't know, it was like a whole factory with these pumpkins. It was really cool. And then I think it was the same building or maybe it was a different building, but I think it was the back. It was like this thing with these bats that rotate around. And then of course they had the little like dogs and cats and little signs and little people and zombies and Halloween people, all sorts of things. It's like a whole town that I wish I lived in right now although I'm not mad because the weather is so nice today and oh also I have some exciting things coming up um, I just figured out somebody said something in my last video about being a member of this channel and I had no idea what being a member was um, until I looked into it and I guess you can have memberships to channels that set it up and you can offer cool little like emojis and badges. And I thought about putting together some Halloween soundscapes for you guys. And I don't know, I'm really excited about all of a sudden I have all my imagination is just running wild. And I don't even know if this is something you guys would be interested in, but it, I'm all excited about it. I already submitted it, it's in review. Um, hopefully I can get an answer soon. Anyways, I'm almost home, so that's today. We hit Bath and Body Works, we saw a lot of Halloween, but also a lot of Halloween stuff selling out. And then we're gonna do some a bunch of online and see what they have in store for us. All right, so it's a couple days later. I've got some tea in my Bride of Frankenstein mug, uh, and which I got from Home Goods last year which I can't wait to see what they put out this year. And we're gonna do some online Halloween decor hunting. All right, let's start with Big Lots because I saw an ad for Big Lots and we haven't looked at Big Lots yet. We haven't even gone there yet. And by the way, I'll have all the links to the websites down in the description box for you if you're looking for them. Uh, but yeah, we're starting with Big Lots. Let's do it. All right, here we are on Big Lots. Let's see, and let's see what they have. Here, let's click on indoor decor. Ooh, oh stop, right off the bat, this spooky house. LED and sound color changing haunted house. Um, forget Barbie dream house, this is my dream house. <laughs> so the height on this is 13 and a quarter inches, which is a pretty good size. It's 25 bucks, which I feel like isn't that bad. I don't know, can we choose a store and see if it's available? Y'all, it's already in store. Should we go there? I feel like we need to go, maybe we'll go tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, early, what time do they open? 47 inch animated rising skeleton in coffin. Do we have a video on this? 90 bucks. This is full on Tales from the Crypt vibes. This is kind of cool. LED hand table lamp. It's got a kind of a cool light bulb on top, 20 bucks. Let's see, animated enchanted broom. Okay, is this kind of like the one on Grand and Road, but I, I don't like the look of this one as well. All right, some of you guys made a joke, a funny joke, and called it a broomba. Because <laughs> I said it's like a broom on a Roomba. Skull and book tabletop decor. What is this? Is this all connected? Hmm. Okay, this, I'm so into this right now because I love any sort of lantern. But I also love the cloches. If you remember the cloches from Target the last several years that they had, this kind of reminds me of 
kind of a hybrid. I also feel like this would be a really fun DIY. Uh, all right, so if you like scary stuff, they do have, I've seen some creepy dolls. Here's an animated rocking chair granny. Kind of reminds me of Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead kind of situation. <laughs> you know that movie, you know. So many spooky dolls this year, if that's your thing. They have several. Here's an animated wedding couple portrait. I wish they had video of these things. Another spooky kid situation. This is terrible. What is this haircut? What is happening here? Who did this to the poor child? It looks like an asymmetrical bob, but like burned off. This, this was kind of cute. This welcome sign for outside. I thought this one was one of the cuter ones. Oh, this was kind of cute. This witch please towel, dish towel set. Cause look at this other one. It's cute with the black cat and the hats and the moon and the pumpkins. Love this and I'm a sucker for a witch flying on a broom. And last year I did a witch theme in my powder room, which I think I'm gonna switch up this year, but I'm gonna make my one of my other bathrooms a witch theme. Ooh, this is kinda cute, this shelf sitter. This looks, has like a little vintage vibe to it. I kinda liked this, I saw this. It's a ceramic pumpkin tabletop decor. I just don't know how big it is or what it looks like in person. It's this, a, an iridescent spiderweb vinyl placemat. Doesn't really go with my Dracula table, but I kind of want this for all year round. This is kind of cute. I feel like this could also be a fun DIY. They have some cute tablecloths too. These cute little spiderweb tablecloths. If you're into scary things, here's this terrifying clown. 109 bucks if that strikes your fancy. Oh, I love these. 37 bucks, two piece. Oh, that's not available in stores. All right, so that's kind of what stood out to me. Just some of the stuff I pointed out. That's kind of a cool candelabra. But we're gonna go there tomorrow morning and see some of this stuff in person. All right, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna go to this website called Christmas Traditions. It's got some amazing Halloween decor. They work with a lot of artists. It's got a lot of obscure, really cool, really unique pieces. A lot of handmade pieces. This is the kind of thing too, if you really like any sort of vintage Halloween vibes, Christmas traditions is the way to go. And actually one of my favorite artists, uh, jo Joanna Parker, I think is her name. It's J Parker Designs, I think on Instagram. But uh, I love their mugs. I have a pumpkin mug. I, one of you sent me a devil mug last year, which anyways, we're on Christmas traditions. I went to, basically, I went to the main page and then I just went to, and then I just went to holidays up here and went down to Halloween. And then from there you can choose like folk artists, figural decor, trick or treat children, tabletop decor. Let's do some hanging and wall decor. Oh, this is cute already. Oh, no, sold out. Really, really cool. This is the kind of like vintage vibe I really love. But they have some really cute signs, looks like. A lot of stuff looks like it's already sold out. And some of it is a little pricey, I'm not gonna lie. But that's because a lot of this is created by artists. So you're paying for a lot of things that are handmade. But this is cool. Oh, man. What is this? Crooked, large, black beaded chandelier. That's really pretty. Really cute signs and wreaths and lanterns. This is really cool. Love that. How much is this? This is $21.99. That's not bad. These lanterns are cute. A set of three lanterns. How much do I want for that? 30 bucks. That's not bad. So they have a range all across the board. Ooh, I love the shape of these lanterns. I feel like I have a new thing for lanterns too. Oh, there's like an Edgar Allan Poe vibe on that one. All right, just a lot of really cool, interesting pieces. Let's look at figural decor. They had some really cool figures last year. Like these kind of things, I just think they're so cool looking. I'm not gonna lie. Really interesting, kind of spooky vintage looking pieces. Oh, I, I love these containers. This is the J Parker designs I was talking about. Look at this, two witches driving a corn car. <laughs> oh, what is this? Sold out, small black and red devil container. <gasps> 
Oh, I love this. Anyways, just scrolling through. That way, if you see anything you like, you can check it out. But uh, what else do we have here? Tabletop decor. Let's look at some of that. And uh, pretty much loving all of it already. This witch situation. Look at this. Ah, so cool. Uh, here are some of the mugs that I was talking about. But these ones I haven't seen yet. These are like the... Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein looking mugs, which you know I'm feeling. What is this? This has got to be Joanna Parker as my guess, but love the teapot and the little teacups. Oh, I haven't seen these. The standing bowl buddies. Those are so cute. Love the little pumpkin one. And then even salt and pepper shakers, candy corn plates. Oh, these are cute. Halloween character plates. I found some Jay Parker mugs like this. I think they were from the year before. I found them at Ross last year, so we'll have to check this year and see if we can find anything. What's this one left? Whoa, that is so, I love this. It would make a really cool centerpiece. Oh, there's other ones. These are all so cool. That vintage vibe to them once again. Man, those are cool. Wait, what's this devil candle holder? Yes. Anyways, they have really cute stuff on Christmas traditions. If you're looking for some homemade or vintage looking stuff, such cool stuff. All right, where are we going next? So I wanted to go over to Oriental Trading, which is just orientaltrading.com and look to see what they have this year. So I got a couple really cool pieces last year from Oriental Trading. Let's see. Some of the stuff was there last year. This looks like it's new. This fortune teller sign. It looks a lot like the fortune teller sign from Michael's last year, if you remember that. So if you missed out on it, it's at Oriental Trading Company. Or Oriental Trading, is it company? Or just Oriental Trading? Whatever. It's kind of cute. This spiderweb mantle decor. And it's got like a bat and some spider webs. So that's kind of cute. If you're looking for a mantle thing, scarf thing, <laughs> I think is what it's called. I really liked these from last year. These uh, jack-o'-lantern lanterns for outside. Okay, what is this? <laughs> oh my God. Halloween spider decoration with skull face. I don't know how I feel about this. Just imagine my entire spooky tree just with all of these. <laughs> I mean, it'd be kind of expensive. They're 15 bucks, but ooh. What's this? Floating candle? That's kind of cool. I do like this. It would look really cool on my Dracula table. Oh, wait. It does something? Okay, wait. <laughs> it's on sale right now, 42% off. I wonder if there's an option to not run the sound. All right, so now we're looking at wall decor. This one is the one I got last year. This Something Wicked This Way Comes sign, and I love it, and definitely worth 12 bucks. I think I paid full price for that. Dang, that's a good price for that. Run, do not walk, because it's a really sturdy, nice sign. Uh, what else do they have? But it, do they, maybe they haven't put out their new stuff yet, because I feel like a lot of this is the same kind of stuff they had last year. Wait, that's Oriental Trading for now. I don't know if there was there another website I wanted to go to. Oh, this one. Lakeside Collection. And they had some really cute bedding on here that I wanted to show you. Uh, and just in general, they had some cute Halloween decor. Uh, like this whole setup is really cute. And they have the entire Halloween mantle collection. So if you're wanting some inspo, they just sell the whole collection or I think you can buy it separate, yeah? And you can actually build the whole mantle they have here if you're looking for inspo. Oh, these are kind of creepy. I think I love them. These little lighted Halloween character trees. Okay, so this is a really cute bed set um, that a lot of people have pointed out to me. They're like, girl, you gotta get this, which I'm definitely thinking about it, but it's a really cool Edgar Allan Poe vibe type of bed set. Also, to match, they have a whole Nevermore Halloween bath collection that has a cute little toothbrush holder, some matching bath mats, some cute little hand towels, a soap dispenser, what else we got? And a shower curtain. Ooh, this is cute. What? 
This is one of those warmers, the wax warmers. But it's a cauldron. Look at the spooky little wax things. Love these bird cage situations. I got one last year from Home Goods that was really cool. But I love the little bird cages with the, or they have candles in it or whatever. Oh, these are cool. Oh, yes. Some spooky, vintage looking Halloween creatures. I love this witch. Oh, here's some more warmers. These are cute too. The jack o' lantern one. I feel like I need to get the cauldron, but the jack o' lantern ones are really cute too. Oh, they've got the retro looking Halloween trees if you're looking for them. One of them is a nightlight plug in, which is really cute. Here's the other one that I wanted to show you, this bed set, because I thought this was really cute. I don't know if this is new this year, but it's more of a spooky gray, black, and white. This could definitely be all year round if you're looking for something like this. Oh, festive leggings. Uh, sign me up for all of this. Oh, yes. For 10 bucks a piece, which I feel like is not bad. They're rated 4.7 stars, which means they're good. Oh, so soft. <gasps> Add to cart, no shame in my game. All right, so we're gonna start there. Maybe I went a little overboard, but I'm gonna continue to sprinkle in shops here and there as the season progresses. We're gonna go tomorrow morning. We're gonna hit big lots because I wanna see some of those things in person and get back to you and let you know if what the quality is like, what is worth getting, and also what didn't really impress me that much. Oh no, that don't impress me much. I forgot, I didn't show you guys what this Bath and Body Works plug-in looks like, all plugged in. I haven't even plugged it in yet, so I don't even know. I'm about to take this thing off, hold on. I can't believe I've waited this long, but I was like, I have to film my reaction. I can't just plug it in and hold out on you guys. The one I have plugged in right now is from a couple years ago, I think, and it does light up. If you can see, it's really cute and spooky. Love this one. This one you can see in comparison, how much, it's just wider, like much bigger in my opinion. Love it. So far, so good. This is what it looks like plugged in, in the daylight. And then let's turn the light off. And it is the most magical thing. It's even better in person. This little projector is so cute with the little witch and her little cat. And here is what the house looks like all lit up with the cauldron, the Frankenstein on one side, a little jack-o'-lantern, spooky dude on the other side. Everything is so good, but that projector makes it. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna let you guys go. We're gonna go out and about tomorrow. My eyelash keeps peeling off, so I'm just done with them for the day. Let's just, we're, we're over it. Hey everyone, we're back out Halloween decor hunting. Me and good old Mr. Skeleton. Um, and I'm wearing my skeleton shirt today. We're going to, we're gonna go check out Big Lots and see basically what we saw yesterday online, but we're gonna check it out in person and see what the quality is like. And maybe we'll snatch up a few things. I really wanna see the haunted house we saw yesterday and um, that welcome sign. Cause if I don't get that one, I wanna get a sign for outside. I know I could DIY it, but I don't I do not do well with like actual construction of boards and stuff. Then I was gonna swing by, cause it's on my way home, just really quick. I was gonna swing by Home Goods and see if they put out any mugs. I, I've been stalking hashtags once again. This is a problem. It's like right before I go to bed, I do two things. I stack, stack, stalk, <laughs> stalk Halloween hashtags and I look up this is the weirdest thing ever. Astrology memes. My friend and I send our memes to each other. She's a Gemini and Geminis get so much hate and there are so many memes out there that completely misunderstand Geminis. Anyways, off topic. I was looking up Halloween hashtags and I uh, saw that some people's home goods have, they've started putting out spooky mugs. Am I in the right place? I'm trying to think where this Big Lots is. It's either over here by this Mexican restaurant I love, or it's where there used to be a teen dance club, which I think is where it's at. <laughs> what was it called? Orlando's? 
like, oh no, I can't go this way. <sighs> All right, so we're probably gonna go on some random goose hunt, goose chase. But <laughs> speaking of goose chases, I got chased by a goose once when I was little and it was traumatizing. I do not know where I'm going. I think I'm on a side street. I'm hoping for the best. Oh no, I don't think this is good. Oh wait, am I, is this gonna drop me off literally right in front of, you guys won't believe this. Big Lots is right in front of my face. The Halloween gods have spoken. Exotic pets. All right, we're here at Big Lots. All right, so I just left Big Lots and, oh, I just feel like I'm inhaling hand sanitizer. They didn't have anything out hardly. I mean, they had some of the spooky kids, like the little dolls that were terrifying and one takes its head off and I was too afraid to press the others. <laughs> um, and they had witch with the cauldron, which She was really loud, I will say that. They, have, they had like a spooky doorbell. They had just a lot of the animatronics and kind of little spooky, scary things out. Um, but they didn't have any of the other Halloween stuff that I was looking for. But uh, they are, Big Lots is starting to put Halloween stuff out. If maybe, you know, I know every store is different. So your store may have stuff out. So definitely check it out. Um, but they're definitely starting and they have a bunch of empty shelves, so it's happening. Is that a spot? And of course, a cart is like, somebody dropped their cart off right here. Oh, I can't park there. I'm just gonna park far away. It's a nice day. Um, it's like 68 degrees last I looked. It's gorgeous. I should have worn a jacket, but I didn't. Oh wait, I forgot my mask. Where's my mask? Dude, I can only go Halloween decor hunting so much because I'm getting mask knee. I don't understand it. And I wash my mask. It's just sweaty and disgusting in here. Oh god. Alright. So just left home goods and um okay. They had some stuff they were putting out. Let me just start with that. That's the good news. First of all, it is so nice out. I just wanna let the wind and my fur. Where are you going, dude? Oh, it feels so good. Woo! Just don't want to let my hat to fly out of my car. I'd be like, I would literally pull over my car and get out and be like, my hat! So it gets run over like 30 times. Okay, home goods. Let's talk about it. They were putting out, they had like one little end cap of ceramic things. Like there were some ceramic pumpkins. There was, I think, there were, you know, there were a couple spooky mugs. They had some Charlie Brown spooky mugs um, and a Day of the Dead cat mug is what they had. They had some wine glasses that I saw there last year. Uh, the ones are like black wine glasses with a, one has a skeleton hand that wraps around it and the other one has an actual skeleton. It looks like Mr. Skeleton holding up the wine glass. They had those again this year. I've also seen those at Pottery Barn, I think. Anyways, well, they had them at Home Goods. They also had some dishware that had skulls on it and some floral print and some lace looking print. And it was black and white and I think one had some gold on it. Like the skull was wearing a king crown, like a crown. What else did I see? Oh, I saw some random dog outfits. Like some uh, Halloween dog pajamas is what, or maybe it was cat pajamas, I don't know. But they looked like some of my dogs would totally wear, but um, Neens hates clothes. Bailey loves clothes, but he already has two pairs of Halloween pajamas. Uh, then they had a, a whole other little section that had, it was like another end cap that had all pillows. And there was a really cute one that said Happy Halloween with a witch flying on a broom that you know I loved. They had an orange pillow that had some bats and I think a jack-o'-lantern and a witch flying on a broom, maybe a spider. It was really cute. 
and then they had another pillow that had a spooky house on it and it said happy halloween they had one with pumpkins on it that said happy halloween just a couple of different pillows and then they also had some spooky dog toys up front like sometimes where they start putting out the mugs where not in where you check out but like on the outside of the checkout area and i didn't get any because my dogs are now elderly and they don't even care about toys anymore neens never really liked toys i'm pretty sure she thinks she's human but Bailey loved toys, couldn't get enough of them, and now he's just over it. Basically, that's all I saw, but they're starting to put stuff out. Okay, hey everyone, I am back home, and I wanted to, first of all, let me just show you. Hi, what are you doing in there? Is it a good little spot? Anyways, she looks so cute over there. Um, I wanted to show you guys some spooky things that I got from some small businesses and creators that sent some things over that if you're looking for some spooky stuff, especially some spooky masks to wear, there's also some spooky decor. There's just a couple things here, but I wanted to show you. All right, so first thing I'm gonna show you are these spooky masks from Chandler, who is another Libra. Hey Chandler the Libra. Uh, you sent over these spooky masks and I am so excited. And earlier when I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot the mask I wanted to wear. It was in this little stack here, sitting on my kitchen table. Okay, so Chandler makes spooky masks to wear out when you're Halloween decor hunting or grocery shopping or whatever you gotta do. This one here, that's this gorgeous kind of monochromatic, gray and black and white really pretty roses floral print love this especially with witchy dresses and things like that super cute okay also this one here is a cat ah these are so cute got cats black cats and these pumpkins all over it love the cool tone aesthetic on this as well it's like a really pretty bluish teal but it's kind of like a cloudy blue so cute here's like the last one here this one ghoul you know this one i was about to wear this one today because it goes with my skeleton outfit but uh this one has a ouija board print on it with some skulls and a skeleton hand mr skeleton what's up love these i'm gonna try one on it feels amazing on so cute on and definitely has really good coverage in comparison to my other masks i'm gonna try this one on love this whole aesthetic this rose floral print and then last but not least let's try this one on love the little pop of blue this teal it makes my eyes oh okay um, love it. Okay, let me give you the Poshmark to where you can get these masks. So the Poshmark is at Studio 462 is where you can find these masks. I will put the link down in the description box for you. Another thing I really wanted to show you because it mentioned this in the card, which was really sweet by the way. Um, it has little areas where you can put a filter in. So Chandler, thank you so much for sending these over. This next thing I've been dying to show you guys this. So this is called, this company is called Seeking Ember. It's dark to light and in between jewelry, wands, and decor by Deanna Bradley. I don't know what I did with your note, Deanna. How did I put it with this, but uh, this, is, this is my life. Okay, the Etsy store is Seeking Ember. Etsy.com. I will have that down in the description as well because this is amazing let me just show you hold on let me move some of this stuff deanna made and sent over this it's like a poison potion whatever you want it to be kind of bottle and it's a glass bottle and it has this metal work on it and uh deanna said that it's all soldered on here that she does all the soldering and there's a crystal on the top which just makes it even more magical it has a little poison card in here which i'm going to keep in here but also i can put in whatever if i wanted to put something else in here like a different card in here i can do that as well um but then it has these little charms it has a libra charm and a spider charm which I just love. This is just so special and unique and incredible. Thank you so much, Deanna. I honestly, I hope you're watching because I cannot thank you enough. This is such a beautiful piece. Um, and like I said, you can find Deanna's work, uh, jewelry, wands, and decor, seekingamber.etsy.com. I'll put it in the description. Love this. I'm going to cherish this forever. It is so amazing. So these next ones are from Becky Little. And I don't see a store or that you sell these, but if you get an Etsy store, let me know 
down in the comments or if you have one because I am dying. They're paper ornaments and each one is so different and unique. The, this one has this little skeleton bride, it almost looks like. This ornament here has a Mr. Skeleton hand or just the skeleton hand, but anytime I see a skeleton, I always think it's Mr. Skeleton. And this one here has a spider. And this one here has Mr. Skeleton himself. And then this one has a black cat. And ah, they look so good on my tree, I love it. They're so pretty. Thank you so much, Becky. Also, let me just show you this bag she put this other item in. It is so cute. I don't even know where you found this bag, but I gotta know, cause it is everything. And inside, I don't even wanna unwrap this because it's so pretty. But it has, I like to think of this as me and my husband in here, but also if Mr. Skeleton found himself a bride. But look at these, these are so perfect. These little skeletons, I'm gonna put them on my tree. There they are, the happy couple. Let me get his head straight. The happy couple. <laughs> um, I can't find a store, so maybe you just made these for fun, but I think you have some serious talent and should highly consider selling up. I mean, don't let me tell you what to do, but also, but I just wanted to mention these cute little things really quick in case you're looking for some really unique pieces, or even if you're wanting to commission a piece, those kind of things. Um, just wanted to throw out uh, these little small shops. And thank you, Becky, Deanna, and Chandler for these amazing spooky goods. Okay, another thing I really wanted to mention since we're sitting here and I'm all excited about it. I mentioned it the other day when we were driving around and went to Bath and Body Works. Uh, I kind of mentioned the memberships or becoming a member and I'm still going to do a separate video on it. But I wanted to mention it now just in case you guys had some questions. You can leave them down in the comments and then I can answer them when I do my membership video. But, okay. I don't know if I'm calling it like spooky family membership or next level spooky fam because we're already a family. Even if you don't become a member and you're like, I just can't swing it right now or I don't, this doesn't, I'm not interested. That's totally fine. You're still part of the spooky fam. But I feel like if you want to like take it to the next spooky level, I feel like this is the thing. Okay, so basically I didn't know much about memberships, but the first thing that jumped out to me was this whole idea that YouTube basically made it so I can make my own badges and emojis. So I created a bunch of spooky badges and emojis that I can't even begin. Like I just like spent a whole day binge watching 90 Day Fiance and drawing up all of these spooky emojis and badges. All right, so I guess I should tell you this first. The first level is $1.99 a month, as how much the membership is. And with that, you get the special spooky badges and the spooky emojis. And I'm gonna show you right now what they look like. All right, so the badges, if you're a new member, you get this cute little jack-o'-lantern badge next to your name when you comment down in the comment section. So after a month of being a member, you get a bat option, where it's just this little bat silhouette. And then after two months, you get this candy corn, which is just in time for Halloween. Let's see if I can zoom in on it, because he's so cute. Ah, oh, there he is. I'm obviously so excited that it's embarrassing. Okay, after six months, you get the optional cauldron badge next to your name. And then after 12 months, you get the optional spooky house scene next to your name. And then after 24 months, this is the granddaddy of them all, you get crowned a spooky family royalty with this witch hat with a spider dangling down. All right, so anyways, the emojis you can use, it says here, your emoji will appear in the emoji picker. Your members can also use emojis in live chat by typing the colon immediately before and after the emoji name. So you get Mr. Skeleton, which I'm all excited about, the cauldron, a black lipstick, which I have been wanting a black lipstick on iOS for so long, and they just have that red lipstick, and so I just was like, you know what? I'm gonna create my own black lipstick, and a candy corn, and you know, I'm obsessed with candy corns. So they said, though, as you gain more members, you can upload and share even more emojis, which you know I will. Okay, so that's for $1.99 a month. You get the badges and emojis, and uh, what else? And exclusive members-only videos. So I will be doing some 
vlogs and some videos that will only be available to members extra shop with me's or maybe halloween decor hunting or maybe decorating that kind of thing just doing little extra videos here and there or showing you guys more of a detailed up close like i don't know a nook that i decorated in my house and how i did it and things like that go into more detail about it um so that kind of thing will be that's 1.99 a month and then for level two, I'm really excited about it. So with level two, you get everything that you get with level one. You also get, I'm so excited about this, access to original spooky soundscapes and music, which I'm so excited about. So every year around this time, if I don't know if you've noticed this, but I'll do different intros and use spooky music. So all the music is created by both me and my husband. So we're going to release all of the spooky soundscapes we've already made to level two members. And you're gonna get access to all the new spooky soundscapes we're gonna create from here on out. I will release them in the community tab is where you'll find them. So if you go to my main page, you'll see like videos, playlists, community. That community tab is where you'll find all the access to these soundscapes. And also I'll do some visuals and do some fun things like that. Um, okay, also exclusive wallpapers. So I'm gonna create some spooky wallpapers you can use on your phone. Also early access to new music from Shadow Figures, which is the music project that my husband and I are doing. So any new music we put out, you'll get early access once again in the community tab. And means hold on one minute, she's crying. So last thing you get is the free downloads for music from Shadow Figures. So you'll get a free download for Manifest, which was our first song that we did. And then any songs that come out afterwards, you'll get a free download um, on, like you'll get it through the community tab, we'll have it there. Um, so level one is $1.99 a month and level two is $4.99 a month. If you wanna be a member of the, I mean, it's already a spooky family, but I don't know if we should just like call it like next level or your Mr. Skeleton's love child, or I don't know what to, what to call it. But if you wanna be a member, regardless, you can go, there's a little um, button that's where, where it says you subscribed or wherever you subscribe. There's a button there that should say join. If you click that button, it'll ask for your information and, and ask which level you want to join. And then also I will have a link to where you can join down in the description box if that's easier and you don't wanna go hunting for it. But it's, it's, it's right by the subscribe button, I believe, is where it is. Um, anyways, so I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, and also don't forget that if you don't wanna do this, it nothing's gonna change for you. So basically it was just a way to offer more perks and but also to support my channel because I don't know, going out shopping this year, one day I hope, I don't know if the memberships go well. One day I would love to have my own home decor line or clothing line or at least on a smaller scale start putting out t-shirts or you know just little things here and there um, and just build on it uh, is kind of the goal. And so it's just awesome if we could have that one day, that'd be amazing. But, but um, I'm just excited to have a little spooky family and offer some emojis and badges and you know, release some things like spooky soundscapes. And I, I don't know, I feel like we're, we're into, we're just that kind of family, I guess. Anyways, I think I'm done jabbing my jaws about it, but um, I don't know. I feel like this next video, you guys, the next one, I keep saying this, but the next one, I feel like, is gonna be the one where we're gonna see like full on Halloween collections coming out. I'm anticipating Michael's, Joann's, Home Goods is starting to put out their stuff. So they're very close. Big Lots is starting to put out their stuff. So I feel like we're getting really close. I'm really excited. I feel like next week is, is the week. I just have this feeling that over the weekend, a lot's gonna happen. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. And yeah, let me know if you're finding anything as you're out Halloween decor hunting or any online shops you like or any small shops, like any Etsy shops or Poshmark or anything like that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.